We're here with Nick McCormick. Nick, new personal best in that race, 340 in the men's 1500 metres. How pleased are you with that? I'm actually uh, really pleased. Um, first reaction was I was a bit um, angry with myself because I got overtaken by the two of the Brits in the last sort of um, last lap, to last 200 metres. Um, I think that was basically down to a bit of an experience indoors. Like I ran really well last weekend and I was high on confidence. I'm still high on confidence and I think that maybe the first 400 I got a bit excited and it was because I was basically up with the African guys, which is it's what you've got to do really. I was, I was up there mixing, it was about 56. First lap maybe a bit quicker and um, you're always going to hurt sort of like back into the race and there was one point in the race last, after about 800 where I was going to go around the American guy and make a move on the sort of front pack and I ended up getting a bit boxed by another African guy that was coming around me. So that sort of slowed the momentum down and then by that stage the Brits had started to catch up. So. Um, it's a good race. I was um, looking for an improvement from last week and I wasn't actually worried about qualifying standards because I knew I'd probably get the time. To be honest, I'm supposed to be a class athlete, so that's all that goes in my stride. And all I wanted to do was try and get beat the Brits and then um, mix with the Kenyans, but I ended up with a 340, so you've got to be encouraged by that. I've gone 346, 345, 340, so we're heading in the right direction. And like I said to you last weekend, it's all about the summer. And now again, I've got a 340 in the bag, so if a uh, got a cold tomorrow or a niggle or an injury and had to pull out of Europeans it wouldn't be a nightmare it would be like job done almost for indoors like but now I'm going to Europeans at, at this stage my intentions are to go there and mix it with the French guys and the Spanish guys and see what can happen so I think I got a really good chance like I beat Colin last week and he was right up there almost getting on the Kenyan so I think me Colin and Badders and Tom and even Lewis to some extent were starting to um compete with each other and make inroads into the rest of the world I think that especially Bares he's been like the pinnacle that we've been aiming for and like we're getting closer and that's it's good to have somebody that's been world number one in our within our midst so that's the target he's always been a target since I was about 12 years old so I think we're a bit um, he's been my rival for so long he's a bit annoying now but we've got to just try and beat each other and then hopefully we'll both get somewhere at the end of the day when we've finished hanging up our spikes <laughs> yeah how difficult is it during the race, um, as you said, you mentioned the Africans and sort of focusing on the British lads as well. Um, how difficult is it during the race to sort of put it in the back of your mind who you're sort of with and following? It's actually very difficult because, I mean, um, to my de detriment sometimes, I'm, very, I'm a very like, positive type of person in terms of racing, so I think I'm always, my intention is always to try... Like the idea of the, the, of the sport is to win like the event. That's why you do it. You try and win, like whether it's like a schools event or like a world class event like that. Like I mean, I always think the whole point is to try and win. Um, but then, if things go a little bit tight enough or whatever, then you start thinking about the British guys, and sometimes that can be to your detriment. I think you've got to like if you're going to go out and set out and try and win, you've got to say keep that in your mind the whole way through and not really worry about if you die or. You've just got to keep thinking, I'm going to try and win, I'm going to try and finish as high as possible. But obviously, the wheels came off a bit today, but it's still early doors, so I'm looking forward to trying to win in the summer, and I think that's what you've got to just keep trying to do. I'm not interested in um, like just beating the British guys. I want to beat these guys at the front. Like, I mean, that's why you do it. You try and win. That's the whole point. So, Is that the sort of mentality you're going into the world indoors with? Um, is that what sort of realistic targets for that type of championships? I think it's European indoors. I think the main thing... Yeah, the key thing is to get to the final. Like, I mean, I haven't seen the draw yet. I don't know whether it's heats final or semis or three. I think it'll be one round and then a final. So obviously, I don't think you can say I want to win a medal or I want to finish in the top ten. Or you've just got to get to the final first, and things can happen. Like, I don't know whether Bars, Medi Bars, going to run. I don't know whether Paris is going to run the 15 or the three. So you just, you can't really say I want to win a medal until, or you can't ever say that really. I think you just got to go in there with the intention of winning or trying to do the best you can. I think. If you try anything else, it's any smart sort of tactics. I've done it before, and it can just go a bit pear-shaped if you've got like a, a grand plan that you're going to stick to. Like, no matter what, I think you've just got to like try and get the best out of yourself and just try and win, or try and just keep your intentions high. And sometimes you surprise yourself. That's what I always try and do anyway. Between now and the Euro indoors, have you got any sort of specific training uh, planned, or same as usual? Um, well, the thing is, um, it's quite exciting, really, because I haven't done any specific 1500 meter work. I'm just basically running those races. Um, that 340 basically came from my altitude stint in Kenya, and then the two races, to be, to be fair, probably two more of the races last week have brought me on. So I think that the best, the only 1500 meter training I'm doing in the next last few weeks is these races, and then 
maybe I'll do one um, key session next Saturday that I do more like in the spring or summer. But apart from that, I'm just going to go back into a bit of 5K. Um, I feel like a bit of longer sessions and some mile reps maybe just stretch the legs out in a different sort of way. I think I'm ready to go in terms of racing. It's just a matter of um, sharpening the, the skills a little bit. There's a long way to go to the summer, and I think that... Um, it, it sounds a bit harsh, but you can almost do too much indoors. I don't want to, like, completely get obsessed with it. I, want, I don't want to burn out for the summer. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm delighted with the way things are going. Like, 340 is, like, fantastic. And it would be nice to go under 340, but that's always the nature. I want to go faster. But um, I think that I've just got to basically take these Europeans in my stride and go for Paris. That's going to be a great, enjoyable event. So I'm looking forward to it.